started going in his younger years Always wished it would be his life So as you guys can see, I'm still in project mode and today I'm going to work on uh, replacing this fridge. So this fridge is the original fridge, so it's over, what, 22 years old. Runs on uh, electric shore power and battery power. The cool thing about it is it uh, switches back and forth automatically, but it is quite small. The freezer in it, you could barely put a, well, maybe a pack of hot dogs. Um, and of course it crapped out on us anyways, so. So I'm gonna replace that. Now of course, because it's a uh, marine fridge, it's like $2,000 Canadian to replace it. So I did some research, and what is this? This is 1.7 cubic feet. I did some research, and I came up with this. This is Costway's uh, 70 quart uh, portable fridge freezer. It is, uh, 70 quarts is what? 2.3 uh, cubic feet and uh, it's built specially for RVs, boats, cars, that sort of thing. So uh, it runs on 12 volt power as well as uh, shore power um, but it does not switch over automatically uh, so that is up to you to uh, look after that but it does have um, three battery saving settings so you can set it so that it doesn't kill your batteries. Uh, it only draws, what, 60 watts. Uh, that's in max mode, which works really good. It took this from 23 degrees Celsius to minus five in about 15 minutes. Uh, and then it has economy mode, which draws uh, significantly less power. So, um, and it has been really quiet. I did turn it on, on already. Your door opens and the light comes on you've got a drain plug down there but you can see it's quite uh, large and then this is mainly I guess your fridge section your freezer section but you can run it hundred percent as a freezer or hundred percent as a uh, as a fridge cup holders although I don't think we'll be using those the other side opens up as well which is really cool and then the whole thing can come off. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, you have this little compartment here, which is a little flimsy. I can see that getting broken, but uh, they send you a wine opener, which is kind of cool. Sturdy, sturdy handles. And over here, you have your digital display. Of course, it goes in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Down here, you've got two uh, USB ports. Um, and then you've got some venting down here to dissipate the heat. Um, what else? I guess that's basically it for that. Uh, you've got your, I think it's three feet for your um, 12 volt hookup cord. And then you've got your electric uh, hookup cord as well. I also went and bought a 12 volt receptacle and I'm going to wire that into the boat system. And you can see the old fridge door swings open and this one doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in uh, the hole under the uh, countertop and then I'm just going to pull it out when I want to use it. So I'm going to have to build a tray. I'm going to have to modify the hole as well under the cabinet. And then I got some sliders. So these sliders are good for over 400 pounds. Uh, they're 28 inches and they basically double in size. Um, the cool thing about these ones is you can lock it. And when you unlock it, it slides out. Okay, and then it locks at the end again, so that way your um, fridge isn't going all over the place when you're on the boat. So, so yeah, the reviews have been good, so I'm going to give this a try. Uh, like I said, to replace the old fridge was about 2000 Canadian. Uh, this cost me uh, $750 Canadian, 
And like I say, the reviews uh, have been good. I've plugged it in and used it, and it uh, is quite quiet. Um, so uh, I'll let you guys know uh, how this goes as we use it. All right, so now we're going to uh, work on the install of the, uh, the fridge setup. I've shown you the pieces, so now what I'm going to do is just show you how I'm going to install it into uh, the boat. It's a beautiful day here, and uh, I'm stuck inside the boat doing uh, boat projects, as usual. But, if we can get this done, this is one of the last projects before we get out on the water. So, um, let's go ahead, let's uh, get the uh, fridge installed. So the first thing I had to do here was, uh, I had to square up the space. So the one thing you'll find in a boat is it's very hard to find a, you know, a square space. It's all following the curvature of the boat. So you'll see here, I've got some uh, three quarter inch plywood painted and uh, screwed into the cabinet structure here for stability. And then on this side, it's the same thing, but it's not screwed into the wall here because it's not square. So I just measured as I went down to make sure that um, the length or the width was the same all the way down and then what I did I screwed this into the wall here and I screwed the other end into the floor using uh, an L bracket to make sure uh, it's all sturdy and uh, more importantly it's all square for the uh, the sliders okay so next we want to look at the uh, installing the sliders it's pretty simple but they don't give you instructions so you might kind of uh, struggle with it a little bit until you obviously figure it out but basically what you do is you unlock it and you slide it out and there's your back anchor points they're pretty simple but then as you slide it out you need to use this hole here and that will show you where your other anchor points are out uh, on the main piece this main piece here it's the one that's going to anchor into the uh, the wall okay and then out here on the very end piece this is where you're going to mount the tray and then once again you're going to need to use this hole here and slide it back and forth to find the uh, the holes uh, that you need to uh, screw in so that was just uh, again they don't have any instructions so I thought I'd point that out okay so you can see it's pretty basic there's the end of the 12 volt receptacle I've stapled the wires in there so they'll stay nice and clean lots of extra wire we've got a uh, 30 amp fuse here to protect everything uh, had to make some adjustments here these come to wire directly to a battery and I'm gonna directly wire it into the wires already there so we're just going to use some uh, butt connectors and I've got the wires right from the battery right there so we're just going to uh, connect them and then that'll be the next step and then we'll connect the uh, tray to the sliders okay so the boat as you can see is still a mess but here's the finished project I think that looks pretty good it's nice how the actual fridge matches the gray of the countertop but it fits nicely in there it doesn't stick out too far it sticks out about to the width or the length of the uh, towel rack you got your display there and it's actually running right now if you guys can even hear that it's super super quiet it was a two beer job but I have a funny story about that here so you just hit your latches it's locking so when you are cruising it's not going to be going all over the place so you unlock it okay then it extends and it locks in place so it's not going to go back in uh, so if you're in waves or, or whatever or roll the anchorage and there you go now I think right now in 
economy mode it was only pulling like 0.3 amps off the batteries um so uh so yeah so no i really like it let me just uh put it back now i will touch up the wires here i'm going to hide them back in there probably staple them to the tray but yeah that i'm really really happy with this this is part of if this works well it's going to be part of a, a bigger project uh we're going to work on which i'll uh show you guys later so um as far as that story hang on here let's grab a beer okay so funny story with this whole fridge thing <clears throat> so back last uh spring the fridge actually uh, shit the bed then and we just used uh, an electric cooler and uh, a big cooler all summer we just did um, weekend trips and single night trips and stuff like that so it worked fine um, but I spent the winter uh, researching and looking at how to build uh, or buy a better fridge freezer combo and to replace the old fridge as i already mentioned was like two thousand dollars and the dometic stuff was you know two thousand dollars as well so that's where i found this costway one and uh i wanted to set it up uh to fix the old fridge problem but it's part of a, a bigger project i'm gonna work on uh which i'll show you guys later so anyways i didn't show this before but as i was installing it and wiring it up uh, it, it didn't work. So I had it all wired after all my research, after all the stuff I did, I had it all wired and it wasn't working. So here I am pulling off panels and chase, checking the batteries and, and uh, chasing down wires trying to see if I can find a problem. And again, this is our third year into boating. Um, I've never owned a boat like this before, so, uh, you know, I'm still learning and looking like an idiot along the way. So, anyways, I was losing my mind. I figured after all this work, you know, $1,100 and in, in, in parts and stuff and, and all the research and engineering I did, and now it doesn't work. So, thank God, I just jumped on Facebook, uh, a boating group, and posed the question. You know, I've got my fridge hooked up. There's no power coming in through the, the, the wires. Uh, what's the problem? The batteries are fine. And they came back very quickly and they said, have you checked your fuse? And this is embarrassing to say, but again, I, I'm a new boater. There's an inline fuse here, um, but I don't even know where the fuse panel is in this boat. No one ever showed me. It never even occurred to me because again there's an inline fuse here I thought if it, there's a problem it would have blown and lo and behold the uh, if you have a late 90s chaparral the fuse panel for the whole boat is under your helm so I go and check it out and sure enough uh, what was it a 10 amp fuse was blown so when I stopped and actually thought about it Nothing's as humbling as owning a boat. Nothing makes you look as dumb as possible as owning a boat. Because when I stopped and thought about it, my old fridge wasn't junk. It simply, for one reason or another, it simply blew the fuse. Which maybe it meant it was on its way out. But all I needed was to pay for a 15 cent fuse. I didn't need to go and spend $1,100 and all this time and effort on a new fridge setup unbelievable it was just a 15 cent little fuse so anyways i put the new fuse in and voila our fridge freezer setup here works um so i laughed like again nothing makes you feel as dumb as being a first time boat owner trying to do everything yourself and your boat just sits there and laughs at you and you know once you feeling pretty good about yourself that you know what you're doing the boat says no 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 stupid I got another one I'm throwing at you so anyways 
lesson learned. I had a good laugh at myself. It's just another learning curve and feeling stupid, but you know, that's how you learn. So anyways, um, yeah, so it works. It's set up, like I said, in economy mode, it only draws like 0.3 amps. So I'm going to test this out and see how it works. Um, I'm going to see if I can just leave it hooked up to the battery uh, and never plug it into shore power because we have an onboard uh, battery charger. So I'm curious whether the battery charger, uh, when hooked into shore power, will charge the batteries enough that we never have to unhook this from the battery. But we do have the option of hooking it into shore power as well. It's just not automatic. So anyways, yeah, so all's well that ends well. Like I said, it was a two beer, now a three beer job. And I think we're going to need something a little stronger to numb the pain and the, the, the humility that uh, I have felt with this project. So, anyways, I hope you guys learn through us, not by what I'm doing maybe, but well, actually by what I'm doing. Learn from my mistakes because, again, you don't learn unless you do. And if you do and you have no idea what you're doing, you are going to make mistakes. But uh, you learn more from your screw-ups, uh, I find. So... Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, cheers.